Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is my final update on my Bell's palsy. So as you can probably tell, I am mostly recovered. So the only thing that I do notice that still is like a lingering symptom is just like my eye. It just doesn't close all the way, like you can't tell. But this eye, when I just blink super fast, it just, is, it isn't as fast as this eye just yet. But 99%, I feel like I'm back to myself. So I got Bell's Palsy on the 22nd of September, and today is the 16th of October. So it wasn't even a full month. Um, I did want to tell you guys what I thought helped the most. I know that with my first Bell's Palsy video, I showed you a bunch of products that I was going to try to um, help speed up the process. But honestly, all of the vitamins I got, all of the little supplements I got, I wasn't really religious with. So I wasn't taking them every day, every day like I was anticipating on doing. So I wouldn't say that that played a key role in me getting better Quicker. I would say acupuncture was my most favorite thing that I tried to help my Bell's palsy. Um, I've only done three sessions, so I bought six, so I could save the other three or I could just keep doing them just to make sure that my nerve is completely good and not inflamed anymore. Um, but I would say that if you're going to do acupuncture, try to do it right in the beginning because I actually waited till my first week like my day I would say day 10 I went and got acupuncture so I would recommend maybe going in a little bit sooner because I did start to see a lot of twitching after my acupuncture and I feel like that was kind of like a sign of it getting better because it was like trying to move um but I do think the acupuncture was the best thing that I decided to do and I hope that you guys aren't too nervous to try it because I'm super scared of needles but I pushed through, it was totally fine, it didn't hurt at all, it was just a little pinch. Um, but I wanted to show you guys my recovery and to anyone going through it, I know you want to think that it's not going to get better, that's like the main thing that I would think every single day for like the first week to two weeks, but I can tell you right now, you're going to get better. It's just a matter of time and I wish I could go back in time and tell myself to not be depressed because... It's a lesson, and it's a lesson to be patient, and it, pre it makes you appreciate yourself more, I think, because once you're better, you're so happy to be back to your own self. So I did want to give you guys an update, and yeah, so I hope that this video finds you well, and if you do have Bell's Palsy, you can watch my first few videos, but I will tell you, I didn't really follow up, I didn't really um, stick with any of the supplements or anything. I would say the most the thing that I did religiously was the acupuncture. Um, but yeah, definitely catch do the acupuncture in the beginning and then do it twice a week is what he recommended. And if they are doing it properly, like I personally loved my acupuncturist because he didn't just put the needles on this side of my face, the affected side. He put them on my feet, my hands, and even on my legs because I guess those are just like, you know, like little points that you do want to put the acupuncture needles just to kind of help everything. So I would recommend um, researching online, making sure that you're going to a place that really does know what they're doing and that is has experience with Bell's palsy patients. And I really hope that you guys recover fast. So thank you for watching and stick around for my makeup tutorials coming soon. <laughs>